Hey, how you doing? This is the Demolition Man from Venom Inc. And here we are in Chicago. Riot Fresh presents. And we're at the Cobra Lounge. Looking forward to Chicago. It's nice and sunny. And we're ready for a great show tonight. We're going to keep rolling until we hit the bottom of the hill where we're rolling to. So I want to show you my bass guitar. This is my sponsored bass guitar. This is uh, Bo L, the Demolition Man, of course. This is uh, the Big G. They call it the Big G. So I have an extra long neck because uh, I need to see over the fences. Like, because if you're trying to, you know, get into someone's pool, uh, how do I know how big it is? What if I jumped in and it's shallow? So I have an extra long neck so we can see over. He tells me how deep the pool is and then I go in just at night time when nobody's around, so it's good. But yeah, she, uh, she's got book pickups, coil pickups, uh, but I mainly, I got a plug here so I can boost up by unplugging that. But because I'm the demolition man, I'm so messy, I've just fixed everything. So volume's fixed, the plug's fixed. So I just stay with both pickups. So I get the brightness, but I get the power and the depth from it. So I'm always boosted, always getting that really uh, deep sound. And then I keep her in the treble situation. So I've got that pain to cut through as well. So I get a bit of bottom end and lots of waveform at the top. Uh, not too much, you know, not too much treble. Um, but if I do need that, I can boost it from my pedal board. And with the strings, um, you know, I don't, I'm not sponsored by strings, so I kind of vary, see how I feel, but I prefer the steel one strings, because there's a brightness to it. I'm a really heavy hitter, so I probably change strings maybe uh, two or three shows, maybe every, every show, depending on how hard I'm hitting, because my picks that I use, they're uh, specially made, so they're like, uh, but they're 2.8. So they're thick, they're thick fuckers, but I do destroy them as well because this is an intense thing. So, uh, but because of the long neck and because we're tuned to C sharp, um, I go for a, a heavier string. So 50s uh, to like 115 or beyond that is probably where I go for. So I go for a heavier gauge and um, sometimes I'll buy a drop B string, so a five string a bass. Uh, set of strings and I just lose one and that's so I've got a really thick string on there so that it she really has that power. So I'm going to kneel down because I should because I am a well I'm not really but as you can see anyway my pedal board which I have okay so I have a chromatic tuner so I prefer the tuner uh, I do like turkey and I do like the beef uh, the barbecue beef is really good but I do prefer tuna because I have to watch my waistline at my age so I have some tuna then I have a tube screamer. Uh, now back in the day, the guitarists swore by these and usually old school guitarists like the tube screamer and Ibanez did a classic tube screamer. And this is a mini, mini version of it, so you can't put a battery in it, it's just plugged, but for, for doing a tour where you need to put stuff in your bag, you want to have carryable stuff in 3 decks. So these things are fantastic. I don't use it a lot, but if I have problems with an amp or the room and it's a bit dull, um, it gives me an extra treble boost to so it. When he goes into solo, because there's only three of us, I want to then play shapes like, like I'm a guitarist underneath him. So I'll bass through stuff, accent him on certain parts, but when they go to solo, I need the sound to be wide, which is why I use the Boel with the, with the big strings and have that bottom end. And then if I need a bit of top because of the rooms there, I can hit that and I just get that so you get, it sounds like it's a guitar bass happening, but it's rhythmic, so I can fill in the void while he's playing. When he comes back down at a solo, I take her off, and we're back to where we were. So that's kind of the theory behind it. Um, and also because I use the tubes in London, and you scream if you use the tubes in Russia. And I've got Tube Screamer. That's what I am, I'm a Tube Screamer. Now, the next one is a chorus. And that's a bass chorus, of course. Again, classic boss. Uh, but the reason I use that is because I hate the verses. They're so boring and everybody likes to get to the chorus. So I thought chorus. So, but weird thing is, is when, when I hit it, nothing happens. I can't hear any chorus of any song. And then I realize I have to do it into the microphone. But it does make the bass sound cool. So I use this mainly on the back of Candice Pastry or uh, Very Live if I need to. Maybe on Warhead at the end, phrasing on Warhead. It gives a, a kind of nice waveform to it, makes it feel a bit um, spooky and uh, it just feels the ambience because I think, you know, the, the anomaly with all kind of metal is that, you know, it's ah, which we do that too, but sound 
the lack of sound can be as powerful as the sound. So if you're going, whoa, and then it goes, that space is like, wow, that's, that's really powerful to drop down. And so when you tap something like that, you have a bit of chorus on there. When you play a note and it just floats across the audience, it gives you that, like, you know, like that Friday the 13th, where they all sing, and you know he's just got out of the swamp and he's on his way, but they all just partying and they think it's cool. And so it's that kind of, wow, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, is what you want. And so that helps with that dynamic feel. And then the last thing is a phase shifter. And the reason I've got the phase shifter is because I don't know what the fuck it's for, and it does absolutely nothing but sounds really weird, and I thought, that's brilliant. And I should have something that people go, oh, you use a face shift. I go, yeah. But that's why it's there. And it's green, and it looks cool, because I've got two green things. And green's a really nice color, because it's like healthy and stuff. And that's my face shifter. So the amp I'm using on this tour, because I'm sponsored by Orange, so I'm sorry, Orange, but I needed to travel a bit lighter. So I've just got these, these are uh, the dark glass. They're the Omega, and this is the 500 series. The Alpha Omega is from a custom audio mutation. So he's a distributor, and actually it's Curran, who's the guitarist there, uh, and the main guy with 72 Legions who are on tour. So I was, I was gonna bring my, uh, uh, my Elf, my Cosmo Elf, and I thought, oh, I need something transportable. And then he is a distributor for these. Now I used this in Dallas when we rehearsed before the first half of the tour, where we did the West Coast. And I was so impressed by this. So I tried out the 500 and she's monstrously cool. The features are, are amazing uh, and the sound. So I actually don't really use the pedal board when I'm using this, but I keep the pedal board like just in case I have a problem. If there's a problem with the amp and I have to straighten myself up and go into like an amp egg, an SVT is what I would normally use, SVT Pro Series. Um, I, I bypass the EQ because all my pedals are set to give me the same identity as the amp. So I, if I have a problem with that, I can switch in there, just use volume, hit my pedals when I need them, and I've got the same sound, there's no difference. Um, but this is, uh, like I say, a 500, but I'm upgrading to the 900. Uh, because the 500 is great, but the 900 is four more, so that's got to be that's got to be better, isn't it? Because like if I, if these amps went to 10 and then they went to 11, it's one louder. Well, I I've, I would have four louder than that, so four's better than like one, isn't it? And that's that's the amp I use, and and of course straight into a classic. You know, I think the amps are important because they're kind of part of your identity both some instruments work different with different amps. So always experiment with the amps and see what you like. I'll get a very different response and to have to dial in different features on this to get the same sound I would get with that, or if I used an orange. But again, because I'm old school, maybe a bit lazy, I want plug and play. So if I can go into any venue, have all the tuning, everything dialed in the way I want it, plug in and go bang, and it sounds like me, I'm done. That's my sound check. Boom, one note I should hear, that's what I sound like. And that's it, so simplifying it. But a, a classic, you know, 810 stack, brilliant, brilliant. You can't get better than that, so that's my rig. So that's a bit of wrap for me. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for watching our Bus Invaders, which was the best time we ever had. And thank you for coming and watching our gear run through. So come and see the shows. We're in, uh, we're in uh, show three now. We go off to, um, I think, Iowa City, uh, St. Louis. We go all the way to Tampa, um, New Orleans. We're coming back and going up to Boston, coming through Raleigh. There's loads. But if you go to our website, you can see the full list. Uh, on our social media, you're looking for Venom Inc. Um, if you go to Instagram, it's uh, Venom underscore score Inc official site we're right there all the details are there the posters are there links to everything and and if you'd like to go to the website we got venominc.co.uk and that's got ticket links up there listings if you want to do the meet and greet we do it a bit different bring as many things as you want signed bring your mother if you want and I'll sign her too just bring what you want we'll bring you in for the sound check you can see what happens when we're setting up then we'll run through some stuff you can be part of the party but please come stay metal if you don't want to come that's cool but if you can come I'll see you there